Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and today I'm covering what was previously thought impossible. I'm covering how to automatically put subtitles and closed captioning on your project with very little typing. So it's all automated for the most part. It's not like a perfect, the process has got a few steps to it, but if you're willing to follow these steps, instead of you typing out 353 lines for a 10 minute video, you can just do some fancy copy pasting. So imagine you've finished a video and you upload that video to YouTube. Once it's on YouTube, you can actually do something. You can go here to this little dot dot dot, the ellipses, and hit open transcript. And you'll see that YouTube has actually done something really cool. They've taken a automated script and they've written something that that is really almost exactly what you actually said in the video your talent actually said in the video now you can see something's messed up here right at the beginning hey it's adam from tech wave club it should say tech dive av club uh so you know that's a little odd and then but the rest of it is pretty on key from what i've been seeing so uh this is this is really going to save a lot of typing if the only thing you have to do is kind of quickly peruse and proofread and fix a couple of mistakes there, then boom, that's a lot of time saved. So then if you right click and copy, now you have this text transcript and uh, you can make your own text. Uh, and then you can go to what we're going to do is I'm just going to make something in documents. I'm going to have a folder called transcripts. I'm going to say, um, so I don't get confused, I'm going to make a new folder here uh, so I can know which one is for this video, which one's for the practice one. So um, then um, I'm going to hit new and text document and then I'm going to name this uh, outside transcript, whatever you want to name it, doesn't matter. And when you open up, you've got a blank text document, you can paste, boom, now you've got a text document. This one, though, has numbers on it. I'm going to hit File and hit Save again. Um, but I'm going to rename this one the Numbers one because to do closed captioning, you're going to want the numbers. But to do the subtitles, you're not going to want the numbers. So just follow along with me. It'll all make sense in a minute, I promise. So uh, we're going to right-click, and we're going to rename this one uh, with timestamps and then I'm going to go back over here to my YouTube video uh, I'm gonna hit this ellipses right here and say toggle timestamps now all the timestamps are gone and we're going to do the same process here copy we're going to hit uh, new again text document and um, no time stamps outside TS transcript so we know what it is okay so and open that up paste and save alright so this one's super because uh, let's go ahead and fix this little typo here tech dive AV club you know I could even capitalize it like it's supposed to be you know, fix quick little mistakes like that. But for the most part, this is done. So we're just going to hit save. And then now with this with this one right here, we have two transcripts, one with numbers, one without. And now we can start messing in Vegas. So if I go right here and I put my cursor at the very beginning, you can just hit the home key to make sure it's right at the very beginning here. And then go to insert. You can actually go to insert subtitles from file look at that now from region that's something different you'd have to like have created regions with the subtitles in them and that's not covered in this video we will be creating closed captioning uh, as a second thing but uh, we will not be creating um, uh, regions so in the insert subtitles from file quick note subtitles are video uh, are the, the actual things appearing um, on your video as your video will be finally rendered. So if you want the text on your video, the whole video, as your final video render, this is it. This is what you need to do. If you want a closed captioning track, if you're trying to create a closed captioning track for a DVD or whatever, uh, then you simply 
just uh, will do closed captioning and not uh, subtitling. But they're two different things, very similar workflow, both covered in this video. So moving on. So then we go to Browse, we go to our Transcripts folder, and then we go to new folder because that's where I put it and then we go with no timestamps because if we did timestamps the way this one's going to read this file if we had the timestamps on it, it would actually create the timestamps as a text box too and we don't want that to happen so we're gonna hit OK and OK oh and so you can see this presets here um, it's gonna take it a second so after you hit OK be very patient with Vegas it's got a lot of work to do uh, it's gonna use a preset and that's gonna use the preset everything it's going to use preset um, give it a minute it's going to use the preset uh, font that you have for subtitles It's going to use the preset animations that you have for subtitles It's going to use the preset shadows you have for subtitles backgrounds you have for subtitles all that jazz so if you want it to be fancy that's how you do it you create a nice preset and select that preset we're not covering that in this video I just want to point out that that is an option and a very powerful option okay so Vegas is having to make something and you're gonna notice a big problem it automatically makes every single text box Five seconds long which is frustrating because you had all these beautiful timestamps that are useless for this process trust me I've tried um, so you end up with just a five second long clip for each thing and that's way too much uh, because it is five seconds per one thing it's almost five times longer maybe more than your actual thing because uh, usually you've got one two seconds per each thing but really this is way too big so instead of manually resizing all of these what you can actually do is just hit the select all button with this uh, select what's it called the selection tool yes you're going to click out here use the mouse wheel scroll out see them all click here and drag over all the track make sure they're all yellow and then right click and hit group go to group and hit create new and now you have a new group and you can uh, scroll in a little bit and grab your leave them all highlighted grab your normal edit tool hold control and this will only work with uh, this time stretch that's why we're doing it this way and we're going to speed up all the text with this time stretch and we're going to do it to where the end of it lines up perfectly with the end of our video here so we got really really close right there so what I'm gonna do is leave my marker tool right there at the end and highlight them all again scroll back out grab the normal edit tool hit control and let auto snapping help me out in this last little piece let go and then boom now what we've got is something very interesting so uh, this is nearly perfect Hey, it's Adam with Tech AV Club. I'm outside for once uh, in the snow just uh, to film an update video about the channel. So if you need them to be different links, then you can manually come and adjust them from there. Still much, 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 much less work. A month really since I've made any video for anything and I didn't like that. I but what you'll see here is it will stay roughly in sync the entire time. And it's all almost already done for you. So it just depends on how exact you need it. But that's about as automated as I could get it is to this point right here. What about closed captioning? Closed captioning is another rough thing. So because YouTube did the hard work for you, what you could do is you could go to file and then import and then close captioning and then import your transcript if you go to text so you can see the text transcripts uh, and and import your uh, t timestamp transcript but it's not going to see it correctly so if you do it without timestamps it's going to default to two seconds each and it's going to be wrong and if you do it with timestamps it's going to default to uh, two seconds each and it's going to have the timestamps as text too. So there's a way we can fix that. So first off, I'm going to open. Um, sorry, I'm going to open the timestamp one and take a look at it. So this is the timestamp one. We need to fix it. And this is actually a couple step process, but I've automated it for you. I've created a script that will fix this for you. So first off, let me show you what's actually happening here. When we go to the transcripts, I can show you uh, one I've previously done. This is set up in what's called a, like a QuickTime 
text uh, format here, Vegas will actually read this and drop the transcripts on it correctly. Uh, and there's something, two very interesting things to note. One, there are parameters here at the top, a space, and then another space before it gets started. So I'm going to copy and then come to the top of this one and just paste. And this will be in my video description. I will have this in the video description so you can copy and paste too. Uh, and then boom, now we have this looking right, but this still won't work. This needs to be in this style format, not in this style format. So I've created a auto hot crease script, which will fix this for us. So um, here, let's see if I, there we go, right at the end. Let me fix the tech dive AV club. All right. So, um, Okay, so to fix this, I'll show you my auto hotkey scripts, which is also in the description below. So you can run auto hotkeys. If you don't know about running auto hotkeys, that's beyond the scope of this video. It's a very common program that a lot of editors use, that a lot of people use really, uh, to just make your keyboard automatically do things for you. There will be a lot of lines, and we're going to count how many in just a second, a lot of lines that we're going to have to fix. Uh, so it's going to be pretty intense if we don't go ahead and fix it. So I'm going to go to my auto hotkey scripts here. And it's got add marker, mouse wheel. These are different things I've done. This fixed closed caching script, this is what I will put in the description below. When you right click, I can hit edit the script. And this is actually the script. You'll see it in the thing. When I hit control J, I got a note there for you. When I hit control J, actually these notes are wrong because they're from a script that I copied and pasted from. Uh, but I'll go ahead and file save. So, um, this script will be in there. I'll add some more notes about what's happening. So if you have to do any editing to it, you can. Um, but you will need to hit Control J to start the script once it's running, and you will need to uh, fix this number right here for the loop. That is how many lines you're going to have to fix. So the way it's going to work is going to fix this line, skip this one, fix this one, skip this one. So we're not counting the ones we need to skip because that's a part of the loop here. We're counting the lines we need to fix. So for you to count these lines, let me show you how to do it. What you can do is you can grab this, scroll down. See, that's a lot of work to do manually. Right click, hit copy, and then go to your Google Docs. You can copy it from there, whatever you need to do. Go to your Google Docs. And if you have the one, get it paste. Now uh, highlight everything again. And we're doing the one with the numbers, so we're going to have to divide it by two because, like I said, we only need the lines we're going to fix, not the lines we're going to skip. Uh, but you could just grab the one without the numbers and have the same number. It's the same thing, just math. So all we're trying to do is some quick math here. So you're thinking, why do we need it in another document editor? It's because this document editor can do something great. If you go to Format, you can actually go to Bullets and Numbering and hit Numbered List. And when you pick a numbered list, every time you hit Enter, it'll create a new number, which means that this will count for you like computers count very, very fast. So 706. If you go to your calculator, uh, or you can do it in your head if you want. 706 divided by 2 is 353. That's half of it. Half of the lines are the, all we're needing to fix. So that's 353. So for you, you will need to make your auto hotkey script have the number right here that has the amount of times you're going to loop it. Now, like I said, this seems like a lot of steps. However, when you see this auto hotkey key script running, you're going to realize how much time you're saving. Uh, when you're not typing in 726 lines of information, you're going to see how much time you're saving. Crazy how much time you're going to save. So uh, I've already got 353 there. You'd hit File, Save. And then you'll need to run your auto hotkey script. And if you've already ran it before, you'll have to say, yes, run a new instance of it. Um, so now that it's running, now it's looking for me to hit Control J, and then it will get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control J. And you can see here, it's now formatting uh, the rest of this text uh, thing to what the it's expecting out of like a QuickTime text transcript. And since it can read that correctly, it'll actually add the closed 
captioning on the timestamps provided by YouTube. So what I'm doing is I'm I'm not editing the timestamps from YouTube. I'm just adding the numbers, the formatting to the timestamps given by YouTube to give it the right timestamps. Now the YouTube timestamps are not exact. They don't give you the exact timestamps, so you're still not getting a hundred percent perfect closed captioning. But what you will get is something really, really, really close to perfect closed captioning without very much effort. Uh, this is going to take quite some time. Again, if you were typing this manually, oh my gosh, that would be crazy. I'm not touching anything right now. Uh, don't touch anything or you will screw it up. It'll start trying to type into the wrong window. Um, but uh, it's going to take it a second. I'm going to fast forward to when it's done. Alrighty, so it did it all for us. So now we hit file and save. So now this right here is now a correctly formatted thing that Vegas will understand and know how to use. And because it will understand and know how to use it, it'll put things on the right timestamp. So we can close all these boxes down and uh, we can have our cursor right here at the beginning and we can go to file and then we can go to import, close captioning, and then we're going to our transcripts, new folder, and you're going to have to go down here and go to the transcript or QuickTime captioning.txt. And we're going to hit with timestamps and hit open. Boom! Look at that! Look at that! If you scroll in, you'll see up here it says, hey, it's Adam with Tech.AV Club. I'm outside for once uh, in the snow just to film and video about the channel. Uh, so there we go. Let's take a look. Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. I'm outside for once uh, in the snow just uh, to film an update video about the channel. So um, it's really been a month, uh, except for this week, it's been a month since I had uploaded a video to the channel. So you can see that that is even more perfect lining up everything. And so here's something really, really, really cool. Now that you have both, here's what you can do. You can actually just use this auto snapping and you have a guide that will let you make your closed captioning and your subtitles match up perfectly. Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. I'm outside for once uh, in the snow just uh, to film an update video about the channel. So um, it's really been a month. Uh, it wow, so that is as automated as I could possibly figure out how to make it. Taking the text that you say without any typing or personal transcribing at all, letting as much computers do the work as possible. Uh, requires a few steps, requires an uploading of your video before you're ready to release it to YouTube privately so that way YouTube will transcribe it for you. It requires some copy pasting. It was going to require you to run this auto hotkeys program and script uh, in uh, that I'm providing for you in the description, but you now have all the tools you need to automate this process. Thank you so much for watching. Like if this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. I will see you guys next time. We got lots more Vegas Creative Software videos on the way.